I guess the first question is, what is manhood? How do those involved truly believe that this kind of ceremony will help them eventually find manhood? I guess the first question is, what is manhood? Mm. Right? And then you have to pick apart that and understand. And I mean, certain cultures invest different things into what manhood is. And even within the Kosa culture, it is very different depending on where you come from. I mean, in sort of the province where I come from, the Eastern Cape, it's split into sort of historically two, which is the cis guy and the trans guy. And they do things differently as well. And the idea of manhood is different. But on the other hand, there are certain things that are not spoken about in the film that people who do participate in the rite of passage learn about how to be, you know, better upstanding citizens of their society. And so on that level, which is not discussed in the film, they do believe, we do believe that um, the, the rite of passage can be quite beneficial. Of course, nothing is perfect in terms of problems, as we have seen, um, but it also has some things which are incredibly beneficial for, for boys who are transitioning from boyhood to manhood. No, I can, I can also say from an, sort of an outsider's perspective that um, I think that ritual is transformative. Um, I think mm -hmm. as long as there's been culture, um, humanity has used ritual to make uh, abstract ideas um, physical. Uh, you know, if you think of a church service or, or mass or whatever, it's, it's, it's really is a way in which um, things become manifest. So, so here you have an experience where um, boys are, uh, or young men are taken out of their communities um, into seclusion um, and essentially mentored by older men from their community for you know, a period of several weeks um, and then are reintegrated into society. So there's a, kind of, there's, there's a formal progression to that process. But at its core, I think when it's done, um, when it's done well, uh, it's about showing young men their place in the world of men, uh, something that they learn from their elders, where they come from, what their family is, who, who their family is, where they fit into that, what their responsibilities are. So, so I think there's a, there's a huge kind of practical aspect to it. And I, I think, you know, we've, I've, I've certainly seen instances of, um, of young men who have gone through it where there's been a real, real tangible transformation in their personalities. Films like this, like how do you think that, why are they so important uh, with regards to changing attitudes? Well, that, I mean, that's, that's, that's a difficult thing to answer. You know, I think from, from our perspective, you know, we, we've always said that we're not, um, we're not activists. We're not here to stand on a soapbox or, or wave a flag or to try and convince anybody of anything. Um, I think what we have tried to do was to present a complex and difficult situation for what it is. In other words, to, to bring an audience up to the problem, but not to try and steer them towards a kind of just clear resolution. Exactly. So, so I think our job was really to present the, the grey zone, to present the complexity um, without, without pushing a specific agenda. And um, in the film, I really love sort of like the quieter moments, uh, especially um, like the singing at the lake and then the tenderness between certain characters. But why do you like think it's important to diffuse the brutality with scenes like this? Because those scenes do exist, you know, within the violence that you see in the film or brutality as we call it, there are moments of incredible vulnerability. Um, within the practice itself. You know, so you have sort of the circumcision which makes you vulnerable physically and you are sort of the mercy of other men around you and also emotionally vulnerable. So you have no choice but to sort of bond with these other initiates and sometimes your caregiver depending. So it really is sort of a, um, an extension of what that experience is like where it can lead to some sort of brutality but also moments of incredible vulnerability in order for you in order for you to move from 
the beginning of the rite of passage to the end. Thank you.